President, I move that the Council take note of the report. And, and I think it's a, it's a nice coincidence that, um, that the PAYAC report, its inquiry into COVID-19, uh, was tabled as well today. Uh, I, the, the Legal and Social Issues Committee's inquiry into contact tracing and testing, uh, we adopted this within six weeks. Uh, it was, we were asked to inquire into this on the 28th of October, and we reported on the 10th of December. And I would like to, um, to say that I was uh, grateful for the many uh, organisations, and including the department, who were so um, uh, quick in responding to our request for information, to our, um, to our, uh, in, to, to our requests for information, for data, and um, for experiences. So we heard from many members of the community. We held three public hearings. Um, and it was, a very, it was a very interesting process. There was no doubt what we found was that the system was completely overwhelmed. And in many places it failed us. And you know, when I say failed, people died. Families spent this Christmas mourning, um, mourning the loss of people. But what we were able to do is look very much at the current system and how it is working and what has changed. And I think I, I certainly um, am very grateful to Professor Alan Finkel, Finkel, who provided us with some of his assessments. He gave us some um, direction into what a top class system of contact tracing and testing should look like. And I think we can be, some, we can be relatively confident that, um, that that system is in place now, that we are seeing test results returning within 24 hours. We are seeing cl the uh, close contacts contacted within 48 hours. Um, but this is not just the work of governments and work of organisations. This is the work of Victorians as well, very, very hard work of Victorians. But we did hear that the government was late to the table with a digital data system, that our centralised health system has not assisted us in the rollout, particularly in regional areas, that we didn't take advantage of some of our public health networks and some of our GP networks when we could have. And I think that was especially and crucially important when we were looking at our called communities. Um, and that was, I think, we saw some, some, some real failings, but I think we've also saw that, that um, that some considerable changes have been made um, have been made to our systems in Victoria. I'd also like to acknowledge that our Victorian health workers, both at the front line and in the contact tracing, were working around the clock, 24/7, throughout 2020. It was an extraordinary difficult situation, and sometimes they did not have the tools they needed. Uh, I'd also particularly like to thank the Parliamentary Budget Office of the Parliament, Mr Anthony Close, um, who for the first time, I think, actually provided a parliamentary committee with some detailed budget advice as to how the money was spent and where the money went. And I think that really assisted us in our deliberations. This is not over. And as we've just heard from the announcement this morning from the Premier and the Health Minister, we are going to see further requests, further extensions of our state of emergency, or we'll see legislation come before this House um, for debate about this. But COVID is not over. We're seeing what's happening over the, across the world. Um, also, we're seeing what's happening in Perth and around here. So this is not over. We need to continue to monitor the situation. We've made a series of recommendations around how we think we can keep monitoring um, our systems to ensure that it is fit for purpose, to ensure that it is meeting the needs of what we are now learning to be an ever-changing pandemic, um, and we will have to, to, to be nimble in our response to that. Finally, I would really like to thank the team in the Council Standing Committee's office who worked so hard on this inquiry and turned it around so quickly. Um, our inquiry officer, Caitlin Connolly, our research assistants, Megan Murphy and Holly McLean and Justine Donoghue and Kat Smith for administrative assistance. And of course, um, the unflappable uh, committee manager, Lillian Topic. 
this was, I would also like to thank all of the members of the committee who really came forward and wor worked respectfully and openly and we took this on professionally and diligently and I commend the report to the House.